Hi everyone and welcome to part number 8 in this project so in today's video we are going to actually do the part number 2 in learning how to make a reordable list uh, inside Flutterflow so now we are going to learn uh, it further we are going to learn new things so let's jump right into it but don't forget to smash that subscribe button and also turn on the bell icon so you will not miss my upcoming content so with that out of the way let's get started So this is this was actually our project we have done in the last episode so if you haven't seen that episode yet then it is in the description you can check it out if you like so uh, this is basically what you have done so here in this page this is when we made that reordable stuff so now what they want to do in this step is that we have we want to have uh, a certain text here that would tell us not the index of that document but it's order or step so i will tell you now the difference so these are indexes this is what we call indexes in terms of programming language so but for real people we don't want to see zero one two three we want to see one two three four right that's uh, that's what we need to do in this uh, step so we want to go back to flutterflow and now for this one it's going to be a little bit uh, complicated or different because we're going to use another custom code but don't worry it is going to be easier so now we're not going to copy it from uh, some way so or somewhere so we are going to add a custom function so don't don't be scared because this may look a little bit scary to you guys but it is very simple let's now add a function and call it show order you can and for the return value so we want it to return us an an integer that can that cannot be zero because uh here you want don't want to see zero one two three you want to see one two three four right that's why we don't have zero and that's we don't that's why we don't have to make it nullable so for that let's now actually so uh, what we are going to add is a very simple code uh, or a line of code so that's what that's what we are going to be doing right now so before we write that line of code we want to add some parameters so what they want is that it is very simple so if we give it zero to that custom function i want it to re to give me one if i give it one i want to give me two that's why we are not going to have that zero instead we are going to have one two three four so let's go back here and now let's actually give it that argument and the argument will be uh, the number we are going to give it and it will increment it by one so let's do that so i have added on uh, the order as an argument it is an integer and sometimes can be zero that's why i will keep this checked so uh, now let's actually uh, write the code so for the code is going to be here very simple so what we are going to return is that we are going to take this value and we are going to add one to it right so this is actually what i have made so we want to take that order and add one to it. that will be the final uh, value this is an incrementing process so we can now click on uh, compile so it was actually successfully compiled and you may want to actually solve for the order i have tried to make it notable and i had a so i had i, tr I tried to make it notable and i had actually an error so let's keep it this way and so you cannot have any errors here on the top so uh, here I can go I can now go back and skip my work so for this instead of saying he seeing hello world we want to see actually the result of that function we have just added right so I uh, want to go to custom functions and show order so so what are going so we are going to first give it our actual order and it will give return us the what we want to see it will add one to it so we can see it in a way that we are going to understand and that human being can understand actually so we cannot because we cannot see zero one to two we want to see one two three so on so let's first give it that order and it is inside the product document here it is i can now confirm so now this is actually uh, the result of our work so so let's move on to the next step so for the first step for the first part of this course so, so we can actually uh, understand what this prompt is is the first thing is that we are going to give that action a parameter so this is a custom action by the way we are going to give it a parameter so it's like uh, in this case so uh, we have actually deleted that a you remember and so what we are going to be doing here is that we are going to go here so uh, let me just keep explaining things here so the first thing is to give it that deleted order so it can use it in the next process so the next step is to go is that this uh this actually uh, action will scan 
a list of, of documents called products. You can put whichever name you want. And if a document that is inside this list had a field called order that is greater than the what we have given it here, if it was greater than that, then it has to be decremented. So if you don't understand, you can just uh, go back to this example. You saw that what happened is that, uh, so what happened is that after we have deleted this, so remember it has it had the one in the order so we t we scan this list of documents and we found that two and three are greater than one which was the order of the document that we have deleted so they were greater than that that's why we have taken those guys up that was the first step and the next step we we did is we have decremented the order so we can have uh, zero one two not zero three or zero two three so this is the exact thing that we are going to be doing with the chat gpt right so now let's actually go and uh, click there so we can actually uh, see the code so so if you are interested in getting this code it, we, it will be available from my coffee page you'll find a link to it in the description down below so now let's just copy this code right here so we you don't need to copy these guys and you want to go back to your custom code again you want to go and add another custom action right so this is going to be so you, i have actually named it show showing stage because uh, here when you when you talk about so these are indexes zero one two but one two three are somehow like a stages so stage one stage two stage three and we cannot say stage zero that's uh, why i have named it that way so you can name it however you want so here i can copy and i can actually paste the code and uh, our uh, parameter will be this guy we want to give it we want to uh, make it or add it uh, on the other side we want to copy and do all this stuff so and now we can actually click on save action and we will have this error you can just uh, uh, copy this name and paste it here or you can actually do the same so this uh, should be here so that should be a good one and now we can click on save and here we have so we need to add future inside of instead of uh, uh, adding void so now i have actually saved that action so it is just to replace void with futures and then we can click on compile and it will be successfully compiled now the code is ready so uh, now it is actually time to go to the next step and see how we can put that code in action To put that code in action, you may want to actually go here. So first things first, you want to go to this row and you have one, two, so you want to add something here. So some sort of a button that will allow you to delete this document, right? That's what you need. So we want to add uh, a button here. This action will, so what this button will do is simple. The first thing that it has to do is to first delete that document, right? So click on delete document. And for the reference, it is inside that backend call it is product reference and you can confirm but the next thing is to actually so we have made a, a custom action that's why that's when or that's where we are going to use that so search for custom actions and get down and search for so it was update orders and it will ask you for so if you have deleted an or, uh, something which is what this action do does or have has done so uh, you will you before we delete it we want to check its order we want to give it to this action so this action can compare can actually take a look at those that are below it and it can decrease their order so so they can go up side or upward if you want so uh, click here and uh, you want to take it here again from from so from the order of the document that you have just deleted so now you can click on close and now for the next step we are going to try this out and we are going to take a look at uh, how it works actually so guys before we move on so there are some issues i have so that there are some issues here so with this so f f if you want to publish a, a certain uh, collection or document inside a collection you may want to use this code instead because uh, because i don't I because here so i will first uh, click on save and now I will tell you why I have chosen this method because if you want to update something inside this sub collection, we want to first give it the ID. So because the, we need to tell it the parent of this collection before we can actually go on 
and actually made this the changes right so uh, the next issue that we have with this line of code because i thought that dart is similar to uh, the c or c plus plus programming language because they see they use this but uh, we are going to replace it with with this code instead so all of this stuff are going to be available from my copy page for you guys to take so uh that's it i can just uh, save it so let's move on for each uh, error and let's correct it let's go on for the first one so here they are asking me for this one so again it was the inside this order and uh, we can actually close that and for this so we, we need the reference we want to go here so i will show it to you so we want to go here and we don't want to take this we want to take the ID of its parent so its parent this is what we need and we can confirm now for the last error that we have here we want to go there and we want and for the last one just so you can go there and you can just specify the category where the parent actually exists in our case it exists inside the categories that's why we are going to keep it that way now we don't have any errors so now let's get back and actually try that So now for this step, we want to learn how we can actually delete a certain uh, documents and what changes that what changes actually we need to make after we have made that specific uh, change, right? So I will now give you an example. I have selected these guys and I can delete them, right? So, but there is something that I need to do. So I need to first select these four guys and take them upside. So that is uh, normal. So because we cannot keep that empty, but uh, do you see that there is a problem right here? So for me, I see a problem because uh, seeing 0 to 3 is not logical and it is not uh, nice to see. So uh, the first step was to, to take them up, but the next step is to decrement their index. So instead of saying 2, we want to see 1. And instead of saying 3, we want to see 2. So we have took them up and we have decreased their order. So now they look fine. That's exactly what we are going to be doing in the next step, which will be actually getting a custom code from uh, ChatGPT, and we can then add it right inside our our uh, Flutterflow app, so we can get to work. So as you can see here, so this is working very well. Now we have one, two, three. Uh, so that's uh, we don't have any errors. You see that we can put each one whenever we want, so we can delete this one and this one will become two automatically i can delete this one and this will take one so you know that th this is actually working very well but there is an another error so because if you want to add another let's say just a random uh, thing so this is going to be so because uh, now because w after we have deleted that so if we go here after we have deleted that uh, specific uh, document which is this action we have deleted document so at the beginning we had let's see so we had we had three elements we have deleted one one of them let's say we have deleted this guy and now the last index of this group will be not two will be one so whenever we delete oh, uh, a certain document we want to decrease uh, or decrement the the last index of uh, of it, the parent id or, or or in the or in the category you know that we have a field called last index this is what we use to increment the indexes that and uh, after we have deleted uh, certain products we need to decrement this by one that's why it w that's what we had that error is so all you have to do is to update that up to update that document or that field so for the reference it is the parent of the collection that we are in here the parent reference you can confirm and the field that we want to update is the last index for we want to decrement it by one so we want to decrement it by one so here it is so that's gonna work and now let's test things again so the first thing you want to do is to go to your uh, categories to to your document that is the the, the parent and first take this to zero so you might so you don't have and you won't have any error so first off delete these guys and now let's just add random stuff so i'm going to still have the same error so let's uh, just go out of this uh, out of that category and let's just let's uh, start a new category because this has a lot of errors so uh, let's just add whatever so it is there so we can get inside of it we can add aaa so we have one the step number one we have uh, something like that and 
you can just add whatever you want just for demonstration purposes so this is how it looks like so we can delete a and we are going to see the differences so we have made some changes we can take this up and if we delete it c we are going to have one uh, one and two but let's start uh, or let's add something uh, like ee -E -E or something like that and it will have three in it and you can see that everything is working good so thank you guys so much for watching the, uh, and i'm sorry for the mistakes i have made uh, during this video so uh, this is so the audible stuff are uh, somehow hard for, uh, for beginners to understand but uh, it, this is how it is it is complicated this is as it is so it is better than writing code yourself so you can find all the codes from my coffee page and by the way i invite you to join my no code explorer it's just five bucks a month and, and you can get a lot of uh, uh, things that you can use to, to help yourself learn no code in, in no time and over time i will be adding more benefits so you can take advantage of all the things i can offer to you guys so sorry if this was hard for you to understand and at any time you can go back and watch this part individually and you can try these things yourself so in the in the next episode i, go, I will try to put this in action so uh, we have actually a project as you know so we are going to uh, check what we have learned in these two episodes and we are going to apply it in our app so we can reorder our tasks so all that will be in the next episode so if you are looking for that episode and by the time of recording this video it is not posted uh, yet but you may be watching this video in the future or whatever uh, and if you are interested in the next episode you can you can see it uh, appearing in the last seconds of this video and if it wasn't there then don't forget to subscribe and also turn on the bell icon so if i posted that episode you will be the first one to be notified so thank you guys so much for watching and by the way uh, don't forget to join my coffee page it is in the first thing in the description and check out the benefits uh, and so you can decide uh, whether to become one of my members or to look out somewhere else so uh, with that said thank you guys so much for watching and catch you in the next one